What's up, everyone? I'm Greg. And I'm Swag Bastion. And we're back for the second time in one day for reaction wow. to the Dev Diary World of Arcane, which is specifically uh, Piltover and Zon. Um, at least yeah, I think it, it's, it's just like an introduction before you watch the show, basically. Right, right. So it's just a two-minute video. We're going to watch it, check it out. I think we were really interested in the two perspectives on like the political situation between Piltover and Zon. I think it's a good way to okay. show that it's so okay. easy to be very influenced just by the perspective that you have and really lack an understanding of what is actually like on the other side. You people down here are all the same. I think it was really important to us to show that there are merits and flaws to both sides. No one should come what off as fudge? a stock villain. Yeah, look Everyone at that should feel yeah. as though the troubles you see that they're haircut? facing are complicated, you know, and don't have yeah. easy answers or easy outs. The magic connections you see in the show are the ones that happen between the characters who come from opposite sides of the world. Vi, Vi and Caitlin and Vi and... Is Oh, wait. Easy to no, they're... miss when you're caught up in a story, when you really enjoy it, is how everything that you see is a labor of love. They're both every from Piltover. Background, every prop, and every character what? spends all their time like really no, focusing not. on making it the best thing it could possibly be. Yeah, Caitlin. When you're with Fortiche, it just gets elevated to this next level. Really? We really wanted to lean into just yes, the really. beauty of like this art that they're producing there every day. Uh, and Vi it is, was a dream of like we from want this Zon. to exist. We want this anime series to exist that mm, okay. has this kind of animation quality where we can I'm do pretty really sure. nuanced kind of dramatic acting or these really deep kind of, you know, character arcs and everything. Because we had that relationship, that friendship, that trust from working together for many years, I think that was possible. I really believe that there's just genius level creative uh, for Tish. Really? The universe True. is it's a place that I feel like I've I've lived in for many years. Um, and so it's a joy to finally be able to, I guess, show it to the audience in the same way that I think it's existed in our imaginations for such a long time. Here we go. I guess these guys are writers, maybe. Also, those those are turbo chem tanks. Did you see do you see that? There is it was in a previous trailer. These? Yeah, but the I mean the, yeah, there are people wearing turbo chem tanks. No, right, 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 right. I was I I was actually looking up. Let's see if they. Let's see. Oh, it doesn't. Or does it say scribble? Okay, never mind. No, it doesn't. <laughs> what are All what right. are these I mean, guys? We could look them up. This guy's look scribbles up. and uh, Preco. Preco. I mean, you can you can look it up. I'm actually gonna pull up. Um. Yeah, I'll look it up. I'm sure. actually gonna pull up uh the 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 map because i was looking at that stuff earlier but i'm pretty sure vi is um is uh, pilt over and jinx right, is on sure. but but i'll look it up um i mean what they're saying in here is pretty deep Very though just by the perspective that you have and really lack an understanding of what is actually like on the other side yeah that you okay he's what? Yeah, why? Go, go, go ahead. Go, go ahead. ahead. No, you're good. You're okay. Good. So Alex Yi is uh, the creative designer. Okay. And let's see, Christian Link, Link. is the creative director. Okay. All right. There we so, go. <laughs> sure. Sure. Intense. Well, so what... they're 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 like the leads. Right. Basically. That makes sense. What I was saying before was what they're what they're trying what they're expressing here is show that it's so easy to be very influenced just by the perspective they're, that you have and they're they're saying also like in, both worlds influentious yeah I don't know if that's a I don't know if that's a real world word oh, I'm not even talking yeah I I don't know if he means influential it might I'm sure you just it, it might be a real word we're we're dumb anyway so influentious I don't know. But okay, whatever. We'll look it up later. They're expressing a. They're expressing like something that is entirely true for everyone, and not necessarily realize that you are 
you are used to your surroundings and your perspective isn't necessarily like just 100% your perspective. It's not like a clean perspective. You have yeah. the perspective of people around you. You've been influenced by other things besides, um, or I guess you don't have, you don't have an unbiased view of, uh, of where you are or what your views yeah, are. Yeah. Yeah. True. You know, you could also be, you could also be mentally handicapped too. That, that could be another reason. Yeah. Yeah. That would be, that would be a big that, reason. Yeah, a different view. But, uh, but just for everyone in general, like whether you're mentally handicapped or not, you know, everyone, everyone has like their perspective. Yeah, it's like perception. And it's, it's like perception is reality kind of thing. Yeah. Kind of, kind of. Or like standing on what is actually like on the other side, you know? It. Yeah. Yeah, like this guy said, that guy was an asshole. Class discrimination. There are merits and flaws to both sides. No one should come off as a stock villain. Everyone should feel as though the troubles that they're facing. Yeah, was there anything extra special in here? I mean, they were they were talking about they were talking about like working with some us up there. Like, it's it's got to be a really deep show. Right, the characters are going to be like super like. They're going to be like four dimensional or whatever. Right? right. Right. Like the story, like, like the characters story arcs are, are, are deep. And I don't know who they're talking about working with. It must've been there. Fortiche. They're... So Fortiche is a studio. Is oh, an animation okay, okay. Studio that, that does this style. They did rise. They did. Oh, okay. Uh, they did other stuff. Uh, I mean, they've done stuff with riot for like years. I, I think they probably did get jinxed as well. And that was like, eight years ago or like seven years ago six yeah. years i don't remember but basically sense. they've worked together for a long time like no that makes sense R that makes sense yeah riot has commissioned them pretty much wait if i, I pull this up can you see this yes okay yeah. look piltover so, I'm, yeah. I'm just proving this to you wait where's vi there's vi oh okay it's because she's she's a cop Okay, well, like yeah. she's, she's a, sorry, an enforcer in Piltover currently. Like that's that's right. what she is currently. But you think she's uh, from Zon? Do you think she's but I, initially from I, Zon? I mean, maybe it will. I tell don't know. Us uh, she might be like an orphan. You know. Let me see. Hold up. Like she, she might be an orphan. The Piltover Enforcer. Okay, why do you keep doing that? Just yeah, I'm just con just, I'm just, just searching read for it. it. Read it. That's not going to tell you anything. If I remember, okay. little of her childhood, childhood in Zon. Zon. Whoops. Okay. Well, and I guess she, she is does from remember. Zon. She wishes she didn't. I mean, here here's the thing. Wait. So did Jinx could, stay in she Zon? Could be uh no. Jinx? i mean she's like like in the lore currently she's just like effing like she's just yeah she's effing stuff up in piltover like she's just oh kind of trolling you know? she's like she's a kind of, uh she's like a troublemaker yeah pretty much okay but yeah what, what but like, was i gonna hold up hold up what was i going to um i was gonna like kind of look at look at this stuff I read through some of this earlier. I mean, this is Piltover. Oh, did you? Yeah. Do you know about yeah, like this is what I'm saying with the the dam? Like, oh, there's a dam here. Yeah, I think I think it's on the west side. It might not be. It might be on the east side. Oh, so this is like all dammed up, and the and the do they generate yeah, electricity? Like a, with it's this? like a canal. It's like a canal. Oh wait, this is on was a northern. The ancient city of Zon was a northern Shuriman uh, trading post, but was, but it was the creation of Piltover's sea gates more than three thousand years later that brought even greater prosperity. Yeah, so it it's a it's a canal. Okay, okay. so okay, uh, like Piltover is 
Piltover is like a neutral territory because everyone um like needs to use their canal to trade. Wait, the so. sun gates the construction of the sea gates made Piltover a hub of mercantile trade between Valoran and Sharima bringing unimaginable wealth to the city's rulers. Okay, so oh, yeah. sea gates. Yeah, I'm it, it's a canal. It, oh, it is a canal. That, that's all you need to know. Okay. Basically. Okay. So like the Panama Canal. Look. They, yeah. Do they Yeah, yeah. The great Phoenix Funicular, funicular. It, that's textile. like a, it's like a machine, a specific machine. It moves stuff like up and down. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. I guess it's not a dam. I guess I was kind of wrong before. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. Well, very, very cool. What? Did you have you read this hex tech? Do you know like the difference between the hex tech and chem tech stuff? Because. Yeah, I, I have Hextech. a feeling that's going to come into play. Yeah, Hextech is like um, gems or Hextech, Hextech, Hextech gems or crystals. I think they're crystals mm -hmm. that are magic. They're basically concentrated magic, and then uh, it's used as a power source. And right. then uh, the Chemtech is like chemical reactions. Right, right. It's a, like a power source. So like. Um, so it's not like nuclear. It's like um... denied the funds and means to craft hex tech. Zon's Zon's researchers instead used potent chemicals to power their creations. Yeah, Chemtech performs like hex tech, but is far more dangerous, toxic, and explosive. Yeah, it's like um, what is the chemical reaction? I, I know there's like it's like oxidization. Where you like rip the electrons off of, off of molecules. Like there, there are certain reactions that um, oxidate. Oh, I spelled that wrong. Process resulting. Like, okay. I I don't know. I don't know if it's oxidation, but like, I know there is some chemical reaction that like generates uh, electrons. Oxidation. Yeah, what is this? Well, there's or oxidation it might be like and reduction. An ionic, it might be like an ionic thing. Yeah, it definitely has something to do with electrons. I should know this. Uh, but it, it's, it's like a so battery. Long. You know how batteries work? It's like... Right, right, right. It's like just larger batteries. Well, yeah, so so the, the chem tech is like actual an actual chemical reaction, and then hex tech is like magic. It's just like, like magic. It's just yeah, magic. Yeah, like harnessing magic. No, yeah, yeah. I think, like, if you look look here, I really like the architecture. I mean, this reminds me, what yeah, what it's is that? Very, it's very steampunk. Yeah, and what's the what's the um what's the moving city? There's like a moving city. Peter Jackson directed that movie, uh, where it's like mortal, a, it's mortal, mortal engines. engines. Mortal yeah, engines. Yeah, kind of reminds me of that. I don't. I don't know if you watched it. I, okay. The movie was the movie was yeah, garbage. I, I mean, it's just very industrial, gritty, right. steampunk kind of yeah uh, kind of architecture. Uh, you're you're right that this with a lot of metal. Yeah. Right. The um what they released is is just is just uh it's kind of a hype video. Yeah. True. True. I mean, yeah, it's very cool. Some of this artwork is... Okay, you can see this. Look at this artwork here. The sun gates? Yeah, but it, if you look at it, if you, like, actually look at it, you can see it was just kind of thrown together. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Like, like this is, this is uh, very rough. These, this is very rough. I mean, art, this is a little bit more refined. Maybe this one. Yeah, that I one. I mean, there are some things that are more refined. Obviously, like, this is still... Yeah, yeah. You know, you, you still haven't, like, finished. I mean, maybe this is finished, but I imagine they could go in here and do a whole bunch, you know, get yeah, a lot more Yeah, it's, like, detailed. not as detailed. It, it, yeah, it's not super detailed. But, I mean, this is cool. I mean, you could have... Th this one's more detailed, obviously. You could have that as, like, a, uh, as like a 
like a like lock a phone, screen on your yeah, phone. Like a phone yeah, that's pretty cool. Actually, maybe screen. maybe I'll do that. Uh, these this is kind of cool. All right, well that. All right, is... very cool. Basically, we're really excited for the MMO. We hope they don't f it up. Pretty much. <laughs> and the series. Um, uh, okay, um, that's like obviously obvious. this. That's obviously like, the series. That's All like. Right. Um, I mean, that's that's it. Yeah. Piltover's on. We're ready. We are ready. You got uh, anything else, yeah. Wack? Uh, yeah, I th I'm actually now now that I'm thinking about it. Arcane. So they probably named the show Arcane. Uh, because it's a fantasy world, right? Okay. So maybe the second season is going to be set in a different region, right? Uh, I I vote Sharima. Like doing doing the origin story of like some other characters. Right? I vote yeah, Sharima. Who, who would you like to see? Who, 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 who uh, right? See? Yeah. Who would I like to see? I think Nasus, Amira? obviously. Oh, na okay. Who okay. who else but would be cool? All, Nasus. Okay, Rengar. there are a lot of. Okay, so if you. If, Anyways, well, we're if they we're do getting the origin a... story. No, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, I I know it's super long. I know the video is super long by this point. I'm really getting into that into mm -hmm. it. So if we do the origin story of Nasus, then we have to do Renekton, uh, all the Darken, um, Az Azir. Well, kind of Azir, maybe. Mm hmm. But like anyone who is ascended, Zara. Yeah, yeah, they would have to do the whole the whole um. You know, Shereman Empire arc, if they were to even choose one ascended champion. Mm -hmm. But like, uh, I honestly, I want Rise. Well, I mean, with Rise, they could just, they could go absolutely nuts. That there wouldn't be. Like they. They couldn't tell all the stories of Rise, in, sure, in just one season. Wait, are you trying to get to? No. Is is are you trying to get to a, a conclusion here? Yeah, I'm just saying uh, Rise. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, I you want like to see, see Nasus Rise, the the origin story of Rise. Oh, okay, that's what you want to see. Yeah, I want and, to. I don't know, maybe some of his. I, I think I think they could of his journeys. I mean they could explore any of these and and it would be good except for maybe Targon. I don't think anyone cares. Um uh yeah yeah, yeah that's basically yeah. it. All right. Yeah. And I I, I, I mean, haven't ever heard of Ix, Pantheon. Ixtal. Pantheon's cool though. Ixtal. Like what is that? Anyways, we're 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 kind okay. of off topic. Ixtal. 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 It's like Ix Kiana. It's like where Kiana comes from. Okay. I I hate her okay uh ah. that is it for us thanks for tuning in to this video Catch and our... yeah if you made it to the end uh we appreciate you you're because, the real mvp because we were MVP. we were blabbering on and on um True. yeah catch us very soon